Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the News App Now, when you don't need to know. I'm here with Miss Researcher, who has suggestions for a research study involving wombats. Wombats are herbivorous. They are grazers and eat mainly herbs and roots. This means the wombat diet is nutritionally poor and low in protein. They spend a lot of energy foraging. However, they do not eat a lot, so to preserve themselves, they have a low metabolism. This brings us to the research question. Yes, the questions leading up to this study mainly involved what would the most ideal environment look like for wombats in their eating habits? And will the new environment yield better scores on a veterinarian's physical checkup than not the classical eating habits? And will taking the test at the beginning affect the results due to the keeper's treatment of those wombats that may or may not be doing better than the others? So this experiment is a quasi-experiment because you, the researcher, are able to manipulate some independent variables but cannot randomly assign subjects to treatment and control groups, unlike true experiments that are randomly assigned to treatment groups and you, the researcher, can manipulate the variable. Indeed, we want to look at the effect over time, which requires a pre-test and post-test design using within comparisons. We also want to look at the effect of not using the environmental diet, which would require a between comparison using the two groups that are and are not exposed to this diet. We want also to see if the keeper's knowledge of testing increases or decreases the validity of this experiment. Wow, it sounds like the independent variable is diet and you're looking at its effects on the dependent variable, which is physical exercise. So you must be using ordinal scales because percentages will be based on the mean of the standard veterinary physical tests. Yes, indeed. We are using the Solomon four square design to, to accomplish this. We're going to separate them into two groups. One group set of two pretest groups, another of two non pretest groups. The two environmental diet and non environmental diet groups will both contain one pretest and one post test group. The pretest and post test being the veterinarian's physical. We're going to use these the systems so that way we can compare the between and the within comparisons of the spores. Miss Simon, this is amazing. Your study sounds very reliable because the same measures, the physical, is used in all the circumstances, which means the instrument of measurement will give very similar results each time. Ultimately, this makes the measures valid because it's measuring what it's supposed to, the health of the wombats. Yes, indeed. It also incurs very good validity due to the lack of testing effects. There are four we need to watch out for, however, like the confounding variable, where the wombats may be affected by a type of food that may or may not be good for them. Another one is the regression towards the mean, where an ailing wombat who's tested at the beginning may have recovered by the time the post-test comes around, and vice versa, a well wombat may be ill during the second test. And wombats, being mortal creatures, are susceptible to death mid-study. Quite inconvenient, I might say. And the last one, the fourth, is the history effect. So events such as a wombat plague or something may affect the poor little wombats. Miss Researcher, this is amazing. Your study is so astounding. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us, but this is the end of our show, and it's time for tea.